tests like this one. Twin traction beam provides the same benefit, but also includes drive axles to power the front wheels. Either way, the result is the same. Outstanding riding comfort and control. Both twin I-beam and twin traction beam suspensions are lubed for life. As an added advantage in 1987, both twin I-beam and twin traction beam suspensions now feature completely adjustable caster and camber, which can be easily altered if necessary for enhanced directional tracking and improved tire wear characteristics. Also standard in 87, nitrogen twin tube gas pressurized shocks in front and back, which help prevent shock fade on rough running surfaces. P-metric all-season radial tires, power front disc brakes, and on 4x4 models, manual locking front hubs. Manual hubs is the design most frequently selected by serious off-roaders because the system is mechanically simple and proven tough. The front wheels run free on the highway to maximize efficiency. And when it's time to head for the backcountry, a quick turn of the wrist and the front wheels are locked to the front drive shaft ready to supply four-wheel drive power when the transfer case is shifted into either four high or four low. There are also optional automatic locking front hubs available, which lock up by themselves whenever the transfer case sends power to the front axle. Many people find them more convenient, especially during inclement weather. Incidentally, there's another benefit built into the new F-Series body that will appeal to serious off-roaders, among others. The wheel lip openings are larger in 87 and can accommodate tires two sizes larger than standard if desired. And in back, there's another industry first for Ford. All F-Series pickups will feature a rear anti-lock brake system in 1987. The rear anti-lock brake system provides a fast-acting, modulated reduction in rear brake line pressure to inhibit complete rear wheel lockup, and in every instance keeps the rear wheels from locking up prior to front wheels. This is particularly important in a pickup truck application because the differences between empty and loaded conditions significantly affect the load at the rear tires. As long as the rear tires continue to roll, some lateral friction is maintained, which keeps the vehicle tracking and helps the driver maintain proper control. The result is improved braking regardless of road or load conditions. Now, Ford's new rear anti-lock brake system essentially pumps the rear brakes and much more effectively than the driver could ever accomplish. An electronic control module located in the passenger compartment continually monitors the speed of the rear wheels by reading a signal from a sensor mounted in the differential housing. If either wheel starts to lock up, the control module directs a pressure modulation valve in the rear brake line to begin pulsing over a thousand times per minute until the lockup situation ceases. As a result, the average driver is better able to maintain control and to brake in a straight line. The control module also monitors the system to check for proper operation. In the event of a system failure, a warning light is activated on the dash to alert the driver, and the rear brakes simply return to conventional operation. The pickup box also incorporates all the famous Ford features, like sturdy, all-welded double-wall construction that helps protect the exterior from shifting cargo. Built-in skid strips in the floor, rounded corners which don't collect moisture, plus stake pockets, and cargo tie-downs to assist cargo handling. And under-frame spare tire carrier is also standard. But even back here, there was room for improvement. For one thing, the tailgate has been beefed up in 87 to support heavier loading. The latch mechanism has been redesigned to be more door-like, so it's much easier to operate. And it's self-centering. Multi-leaf rear springs have also been recalibrated in 87 for improved riding comfort. And there have been important improvements in corrosion protection. In particular, the new F-Series body uses significantly more galvanized steel, including the entire pickup box and tailgate, as well as the front fenders, hood, cowl, and door assemblies. In fact, the 1987 F-Series trucks 
meet or exceed all of Ford's tough durability standards. But I wouldn't want to give you the impression all the 87 improvements were made of steel. There have also been important changes in comfort, convenience, and trim features. A flight bench seat is standard with XLT Lariat to accommodate up to three adults in a regular cab. And on the mid-level XL trim package shown here, the seats are upholstered in cloth and vinyl. They have a folding back to permit storage behind the seat. The safety belts have a new comfort regulator that permits greater freedom of movement for the shoulder harness on the two outboard positions. As already noted, the instrument panel incorporates many features which contribute to easier serviceability. But it's also designed to be very user-friendly. It has a center-mounted speedometer for easy visibility, plus alert lights and standard gauges for temperature and oil pressure. On the right, there's a new storage shelf in addition to the locking glove compartment. And there are four panel registers for more efficient ventilation and standard side window demisters for more efficient clearing of fogged side glass. There's even a standard electronic AM radio, including a digital clock. A high output type heater is also standard in 1987. In fact, after considerable testing, the 1987 F-Series was shown to have the best-in-class interior climate control of any full-size truck. Naturally, there are many individual and group options which can make an F-Series truck even more functional, as well as comfort and convenience options to suit individual tastes. But for even more versatility, there's the F-Series Super Cab, the only full-size extended cab entry, shown here in the luxurious XLT Lariat trim level. The Super Cab shares all the styling and functional improvements of other F-Series models, but it also provides much more usable and lockable room inside. Up front, you can choose a three-passenger bench seat, or these optional captain's chairs are available with a convenient center console. In back, there's a standard full-width three-passenger bench seat that folds down flat to form a solid load floor. Or there are optional center-facing rear jump seats available that fold up to provide nearly 30 cubic feet of load space. Other additional standard features included with the Super Cab are an auxiliary fuel tank, tinted glass, these low mount swing away mirrors, and a cloth headliner. And most of these features are also included in the F-350 Crew Cab, which has even more room in back, plus the additional convenience of four doors. In total, there is no more versatile full-size lineup than Ford F-Series in 1987. That's what you'd expect from the best-selling truck in America. What you may not have expected was how much better the best could get.